Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on building up the Cisco OSA step by step. My name is Sai and I am from Mumbai and a beginner as you are. Today we are going to do the basic configurations which are needed to get the ASA up and running. Let's check the agenda. We have to set the privilege mode password. We have to name the appliance and configure the interfaces. Let's check the topology. This is a Cisco ASA, a internal network, a external network and the DMZ segment. Now to get the ASA up and running, we have to do certain basic requirements. The basic configurations which are Requirement 1 Privilege mode password By default, when ASA comes out of a box, it has no password. So, as per all this requirement, we have to set our password as secret at the rate 1, 2, 3. Let's do. Right now, this is a Cisco ASA and we are in the enable mode. Let's enter the privilege mode. Command for that is enable. Now we are prompted for the password. But as I said, there, there is no password. Let's try. Yes, see, we have allowed to enter into the privilege mode. So as per our requirement, we have to configure the privilege mode password. And for that, we have to first go into the global config mode. The command for that is configure terminal. Now, the command to enable the privilege mode password is enable password and give the password which is secret at the rate 1, 2, 3. Enter. Now we have enabled the privilege mode password. Let's check. Exit to get out of the global config mode. Now we are in the privilege mode. One more exit to get into the enable mode. Now let's try to enter into the privilege mode without any password. Enable. We have prompted for the password. Now as we did before, Let's try to enter without any password. No, it says invalid password. So, we have to give some password which we configured earlier. Let's give a password which is secret at the rate 1, 2, 3. Yeah, see. As we enter the correct password, we are allowed to enter into the privilege mode. Now, let's check the other requirement. Requirement 2 says we have to name our device. By default, when ASA comes out of box, it has a plain name of Cisco ASA. So as per our requirement, we have to change the name to Mountain. Let's go and do that. Similarly, for host name, we have to first go into the global config mode. Configure Terminal. And the command for that is host name and provide the name which is mountain. And as soon as we hit enter, we can see the name has been replaced and the name which we have given has been accepted. Now let's check the last and the final requirement. Requirement 3 says we have to enable our interface gigabyte 1 address him with ip 192.168.1.1 slash 24 name it inside and a security level of 100 so let's do exit first let's check the interface status command for that is show interface ip pre it says interface 1 is unassigned unset and down so let's configure first configure terminal and to configure the interface we have to go 
into the interface config mode. The command for that is interface, then the interface which we want to configure, which is gigabyte one. Now, for assigning IP address, the address is the command is sorry, IP address 192.168.1.1 and the subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0. No shut for enabling the interface. Now, as we have a habit of configuring our router and switches, these two commands are enough. So let's check. Let's check. Exit. Show interface IP prep. Yet we can see the interface one in un unassigned, but it's up. So what has been which have kept the interface not assigned? So the command for that are we have to name the interface and assign a security level. So without that interface never comes up. Let's do the naming interface gigabyte one and command for that is name if and the name. Now we have set the name and as you see the default security level of 100 has been taken. Cisco has a pre-design where a security level of 100 is given to the interface which has the name inside and the rest all interfaces are assigned zero. So if we don't want to inter if you don't want our predefined security levels, this are the ones which get installed. But if we want our security levels, then we have to manually do that. So the command for that is security level and 100. Now let's check the interface status. Command for that show interface IP free. And now you can see the interface is up with IP address. Now let's check the next requirement. Interface 2 has to be assigned an IP address of 192.168.2.1 name it DMZ and a security level of 75. So let's do that. Configure terminal to enter into the global config mode interface gigabyte 2 to configure the interface gigabyte 2. Then IP address 192.168.2.1 255.255.255 dot zero the subnet mask name if TMC C security level of zero is given by default as I said earlier now no shut and exit let's check the last requirement no the security level of 75 has to be given A mistake done by me. This command should not be and we cannot execute over here. For this, we have to go again in interface gigabyte 2 and then security level 75. Exit. And the last requirement says the interface 0 has to be addressed as 192.168.3.1 name it outside and security level of 0. Let's do that. Interface gigabyte 0 IP address 192.168.3.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 no shut name if outside and the security level of zero. Let's check our interface status. Exit. Exit. First, 
let's write a config right and show interface ip free see all our three interfaces are up friends we have done all our configs thank you for watching this video tutorial if you like the content and the way of explanation please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel please also read my blog for the notes thanks